हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी दिस इज योर टेंथ सब टॉपिक इन योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज डाइवर्सिटी इन अ लिविंग वर्ल्ड ओके नाउ लेट्स सी बायोडाइवर्सिटी व्हाट इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी नाउ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बायो बायो मींस अ लिविंग राइट बायो मींस लिविंग and what is the meaning of diversity diversity means a variations okay variations which means in living organisms what are the variations are there that is biodiversity right now let's see what are the variations are there in living organisms on the earth there are 20000 okay k for 1000 okay 20000 species of ऑर्किड्स आर देर एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड स्पीसीस ऑफ एंड्स आर देर एंड ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड स्पीसीस ऑफ फिशेस आर देर एंड थ्री लैख ओके थ्री लैख ऑफ बीटल्स आर देर बीटल्स विच मीन्स वी हैव the variations in living organisms like 20000 species of orchids which means in a orchid species we have many variations are there next 20000 species of ants and 28000 species of uh, species and 3 lakh species of uh, beetles now let's see how this biodiversity is popularized how this biodiversity was popularized right now this biodiversity term the term biodiversity was popularized by edward wilson remember this edward wilson okay he was the scientist he popularized the biodiversity term in this biodiversity we can observe the variations in three levels first level is genetic biodiversity and the second level is a species biodiversity and the third level is ecological biodiversity first let's see what is a genetic biodiversity and what is a species biodiversity and what is ecological biodiversity first one is a genetic biodiversity in this the name itself shows that a genetic biodiversity what is biodiversity biodiversity means variations in living organism that is biodiversity right genetic biodiversity means in a living organisms the variations are present at genetic level or genes example in india there are 50000 Fifty thousand varieties of rice grains are there. Okay, fifty thousand varieties of rice grains are there, and one thousand. Okay, one thousand varieties of mangoes are there, which means rice is a single species, mango is a single species. In a single species, there are many variations in genes, which means. in a rice there are 50000 types of genes are there in a mango there are 1000 types of genes are there right next let's see species biodiversity which means the biodiversity which means the in a living organisms the variations are present at species level example amphibian species okay amphibian species this amphibian species number in more in western ghats okay more in western ghats than eastern ghats which means the number of amphibian species are more in western ghats when compared to eastern ghats okay and the next one is ecological biodiversity biodiversity means variations in living organism that is biodiversity in ecological biodiversity means variations in living organisms at ecological level for example 
India is the biggest ecology, right? In India, okay, in India, there are many forests are there and many deserts are there and many mangroves are there as well as many islands, islands are there, okay? Likewise, these are more in number in India when we compared this ecological region with Norway, okay? Which means in Norway, all these ecological variations which are present in India, those ecological variations are not there in Norway. Okay, this is diversity in living organisms at ecological level. Now, let's say this ecological biodiversity is again divided into three types. First is alpha ecological biodiversity and beta ecological biodiversity and gamma ecological biodiversity. First, let's see what is alpha ecological biodiversity alpha ecological biodiversity means it is a number of a species in a particular area okay which means how many species are there in a particular area or a particular ecosystem that diversity is called alpha ecological biodiversity and the next one is beta ecological biodiversity beta ecological biodiversity means it is the variations in living organisms in between two adjacent ecosystems which means imagine this is an ecosystem this is also an ecosystem how many species are there in this ecosystem and how many species are there in this ecosystem beta uh, ecological biodiversity means the number of species in between two adjacent ecosystems that is beta ecological biodiversity and the last one is gamma ecological biodiversity this gamma ecological biodiversity is the diversity which is present in between two large ecological systems or two large ecosystems that is gamma ecological biodiversity example same this one india has more forests more mangroves and more deserts than Norway. This is also an example for gamma ecological biodiversity. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching.